Hi Scratchers, welcome to this tutorial on how to make an animation on Scratch. Today we're going to be covering the basics of animation and some principles of animation you can add to your Scratch animations. When animating, you want to have an OC. This stands for Original Character. This is what you're known for and you'll use every time. This is an example of my OC. Whenever starting an animation, you want to start with these blocks. This will make sure our animation is set to where we want it to start and begin. Animation begins with frames, so to do that in Scratch, we make a new costume, and then we can duplicate our character so he's where he was before. Now, if we change a little bit of our character, there's movement. So if we do this multiple times, to make a little hand wave movement, we are animating our character. So, let's keep doing this a little bit. It's almost done. And after, we're going to code it to see how it looks. Okay. Now that we have our movement, we have to start coding. So to start, we're going to make it have a weight block so people can see what's going to happen. Then, since we have seven costumes and we start with costume one, we're going to need to repeat six, and then we switch the next costume. Now if we test this, we, our character moves, and it's animation. Now let's learn about some of the principles of animation. I'm going to teach you guys how to code slow in and slow out. So to start, we're going to want to put our player where you want him to be. So we're going to put him right here, but a little bit on the screen. Then we're going to slowly make him go closer to where we want him to end up. So now we keep doing this. And now when we're halfway there, we're going to do a couple big movements. And we're going to do slow ones again. This is how you do slow in and slow out. This will look really good on your animations if you apply it perfectly. Now we have it. One more costume. And let's test it out. Now if we code it and we start with 0 0.1 seconds, repeat times 12. Next costume. There we go. It looks really nice. Now I will teach about squash and stretch. So to begin, we want our OC to be where we want him to start. Then we duplicate, and then we bring our OC down a bit. And then we stretch him out a little bit. Then we continue to do this until our OC is towards the bottom. This is how we do it. When we do this, we're going to try to flip our character around. So, on our next costume, we're going to get rid of the eyes and some things of the hoodie. Because we're looking at a different view. Now, we're going to bring our, our OC back up to where he started. And 
when adding these, make sure not to do it too much. Maybe do it once per animation. This will look really nice and will make your animations look more smooth and interesting to watch. Keep doing this until your OC looks about where it was before. Then look at the original costume and you can compare what how they look. They look pretty accurate. Now when we code it, we're gonna do wait 0 0.2 seconds. Repeat 11 in the next costume. And when we test it, it looks very good. These are the most important principles of animation to add. Make sure you add a background, plot, and lip cynic. Remember, the more costumes you have, the better, and make sure there's fast movement. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.